I believe we're going to check in with uh, the one, the only, there Tim Cavanaugh. <laughs> wow. It's, uh, hey, it's, guys. Uh, Hi, Tim. Hi. I feel like I'm in the haunted house at Disney World in one of the floating heads. It's, uh, <laughs> wow. uh, yes. What is it? Ra- you know what's what? his name? I'm Ravenscroft? Look, I'm looking at myself here, and it is disturbing. Uh, oh, yeah. turn a light on in the back, you yes. weirdo. <laughs> You're like one of those... Where uh, are you? Like... <laughs> One of those fluorescent oh, geez, fish, all over. deep sea creatures. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, that's better. Anyway. There we go. My favorite Tim Cavanaugh story is we, we were out on the road. I, uh, we only, I think we were only in a car together where you were driving once. I only let that happen once. You remember this, right? <laughs> Yeah, that. Yeah, I I know it was not easy for yeah. you. And he he said when I got in the car, I'm a horrible driver. <laughs> and I said, you're a comedian. I'm sure you're a fine driver. He was not joking. He's a horrible driver. But when he goes into a convenience store out on the road, it is like. Um, Hugh Hefner at the mansion. They know him. They whisk him back. They've got special selections really? for him in the back. It's unbelievable. What? What? Are you, what These are my people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Old road dog like oh, you. Oh, Mr. Cavanaugh, right this way, Mr. Cavanaugh. We have the fresh bananas in the back. Remember that? Yeah. Now, um, right. Mr. Cavanaugh is um, on his way to Bloomington, Illinois, where he will be at the Cackle shack all right which is right next door to the uh shop for women with uh, big ankles the cankle shack <laughs> they have uh socks actually extra, extra wides uh cackle is uh cackleberry is my favorite term for eggs what i've never i didn't know that i've never heard it and i love it cackleberries sure yeah wow. I've heard of cadbury for, eggs get a, get a dozen expensive. cackleberries yeah is that a thing uh, I always heard it when I was a kid. I don't know if my dad came up with it or not. Love it. It was called yeah. a cackleberry. I also like yard bird for chicken. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've never heard cackleberry. Uh, did I mention that uh, this Friday, it's Bloomington, Illinois at the Cackle Shack. And then uh, on the 11th, Saturday, it's Mason City, Illinois at Mason City Limits with Mr. Cavanaugh. Tim, are you uh, prepared to um, give us a little bit of uh, birthday knowledge? I am. Well, I'm you're, very you're, excited about it. Right. Here comes the intro. You know, February is is the shortest month, but there's no shortage of great celebrity birthdays. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's go to it. Here we got the music. So here we go. I'm just waiting for my for my for my music. It's there. Trust me. <laughs> Okay. For some reason, Tom is hey. rushing you quite rudely. It's fine. And he's music, expecting no, you to keep fine. up. The music is it's fine. He's trying to delay the kiss. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, a, that's probably true. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's time once again for Tim Cavanaugh's Cavalcade of Celebrity Birthdays. I'm comedian Tim Cavanaugh. This year's Grammy Award for Best Album went to February 1st birthday boy Harry Styles. Oh, Harry's talent and sex appeal have apparently rubbed off on his two golden retrievers, whose new video, Doggy Styles, is a big (laughs) hit on the Animal Channel. (laughs) (laughs) Harry's former bandmates from One Direction seemed disillusioned by the Grammy results as they realized Harry was going One Direction while they were going in a completely different way. A hard show business fact. <laughs> Celebrating birthday number 63 this week is Tony Robbins, the man who answers the question, I wonder what Lurch would be like as a motivational speaker. <laughs> Dakota Fanning celebrates her 29th birthday this week. She was given the name Dakota because that was the name of the truck she was conceived in. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Oh. Yeah, a- according to her su- two sisters, El Camino and Greyhound number 156, <laughs> <laughs> Dakota was the lucky one. <laughs> Although El Camino is now doing well uh, since dropping the Camino part. Yes, El Fanning is doing quite well. <laughs> Thank you for putting that together so quickly, Josh. Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. The, the Hollywood Dynasty. I wish I could. I wish I could kiss Tom too. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. That didn't sound right. Uh, Super Bowl halftime performer Rihanna turns 35 this month. Her unusual name, Rihanna, means sweet basil. Hmm. She's currently involved with rapper ASAP Rocky, whose unusual first name, ASAP, means. Premature ejaculate. <laughs> uh-huh. 
<laughs> as soon as penetrated. Uh, as soon as... <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's good. These are jokes on top of jokes. I love this. All right. Singer Fats Domino would have turned 95 this week. He was so popular back in the 50s that all the other singers got jealous and began copying him, starting with his name. <laughs> they started giving themselves first names, implying they were overweight, followed by a last name that was a playing piece from a children's game. <laughs> so Fats Domino led to Chubby Checker, mm -hmm. who was a great success, which led to Lardass Tiddlywink, <laughs> He never, oh, Lord, I never did. No, no, no hits at all. Never did. Born back in 1856 was Charles Strait, who invented the first pop-up toaster. Wow. I'm lucky enough to have the Haywood Banks in concert model in my kitchen. Oh, oh nice. nice. <laughs> I sure wish I'd written the song Toast right now. <laughs> um, Here's a little celebrity birthday brain teaser, and I, I, my money's on Josh, the way his mind is working this morning. <clears throat> All right, here you go. If you take this rapper turned actor and mix him with lemonade, you'll get an Arnold Palmer. Oh, oh sure. Who yeah. am I talking about? Ice T. Ice T turns 65 this month. Wow. There you go. Wow. 65. That was very good, Tom. 65. Man. You can see him in the new movie, Old Jack City. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Soon he'll be on ice. Yeah. The old Elders good. Cleaver. Soul on ice. There anyone? Uh, Soul on ice. Yeah, Stokely Carmichael. Uh, 60 years okay, ago? I think, I think, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go on. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you. Probably best, yeah. Celebrating birthday number 55 this month is singer China Phillips, one third of the pop group Wilson Phillips. She used to be a good friend of mine. We even used to exchange birthday gifts every year. Oh. But not anymore after she recently sent me a giant balloon over Montana <laughs> and signed it Love from China. Oh. <laughs> is that right? China Phillips. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who's married to, to Billy Baldwin. Oh, really? Yeah. Whose brother-in-law is in trouble for... <laughs> <laughs> Will you behave? <laughs> Born this week back in 1918 was Robert Wadlow. Oh, he was the world's Jack, tallest... You know who Robert Wadlow yeah, is. world's tallest man ever, yeah. He, 83 years after his death, Wadlow still holds the record for being the world's tallest man. Right. Standing 8 feet 11 inches tall. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> In 1989, he was the title character of a series of children's books called <laughs> Where's Wadlow? <laughs> <laughs> the series never caught on, given the fact that Wadlow was 3 feet taller than everybody else. Yeah, very easy to find. Uh, very easy to spot, yeah. <laughs> easy to find. <laughs> Yeah. Turning 35 this week is relief pitcher Araldus Chapman, uh -huh. who can throw a fastball at 105 miles an hour. Boy. To put that in perspective, Lance Armstrong, even using performance-enhancing drugs, can get his ball only up to 82 miles. <laughs> one ball. Right. Just, just That's says good. the one test. Yes. Mm. Mercedes Rule. Hmm. BMWs are also nice. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, true. Mercedes uh, rules. Uh, turns 75 this month. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Celebrating birthday number 70 is actress Jane Seymour. Now, I was thinking if Jane Seymour married Andy Dick, they'd be Andy and Jane Seymour Dick. <laughs> That's exactly And right. they'd both be pleased. <laughs> yes. They I think they would be. Yeah. I think they would be. <laughs> I don't know which way. I don't... Okay, I'm not going there. I'm just going to keep going with the jokes that I got. Okay. Born back in 1819 was Christopher Latham Scholes, the inventor of the typewriter, a device that caused me nothing but heartache oh. in my high school years. See, I had a crush on the girl who sat next to me in typing class, and I would always try to get her attention with my incredible typing prowess, which really turns women on. Jess, I think you know what I'm talking about <laughs> there. Well, 
Wouldn't you know, I was the one student in the class who got stuck with the typewriter with the spastic colon. <laughs> Very hard to impress a girl when your equipment isn't working. Right, right, right. <laughs> Yo, I started to feel sorry for myself, but then I found out that the girl behind me was missing her period. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough you think, uh, that's the High school, that man. <laughs> really difficult. Yeah. You, know, you gotta, suddenly she got this, shipped this, away this to a convent. Right, she went to live with her aunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did. She went and left to live with her aunt. And been, been in uh, Bloomington, Illinois, right next to the Cackle Shack. And then she got to see right. Tim Cavanaugh this Friday night. Uh, is there more, Tim? That's up to you. <laughs> no, I, 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 I've got to restart the music. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to Tim Cavanaugh. Then. Okay, the music's back, Tim. Go ahead. All right, that's good because there's there's a couple good ones left uh, and some not one. Oh, not, not good, good ones. ones. Right. All right. Turning 82 this month is the legendary singer Smokey Robinson. Wow. Three years ago, in an attempt to attract a younger audience, he legally changed his name to Vapey. Robinson. <laughs> Born 138 years ago this week was author A. A. Milne, whose books about Winnie the Pooh sold way better once he changed the name from Winnie the Fecal Matter. <laughs> I can see how that Yeah, Pooh's kind of a cute word. Yeah, you're right. I should have ended it before. <laughs> no, I, well, keep going. We're, we're enjoying this. NBA legend Julius Irving, better known as Dr. J, turned 73 this week. I was a big fan of Dr. J's until he took my grandfather's gallbladder out. <laughs> at the funeral, it dawned on me that he wasn't a real doctor at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Dr. Dre is, is working on my tonsils mm -hmm. uh, later on this week. Oh, here's my favorite. The late Robert Kardashian, a lawyer on the dream team that helped get O.J. Simpson acquitted of murder, was born this month back in 1944. He's the father of Kim, Chloe, and Courtney Kardashian. One day he walked into his daughter's bathroom and was horrified by what he saw. Mm. There on the rack next to the bathtub, were his three daughters' monogrammed towels that spelled out <laughs> KKK, mm. Mm. which made him worry that maybe his daughters did not like black men. <laughs> As it turns out, he had nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> That's for Black History Month. Uh, uh, All right, is that, are we, do I play the outro yet? No. Okay, no. I, I, you got to let me know. Uh, by, all, by all means, do not do that. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> let, let, me, let me wrap this up. Okay. Uh, born this week back in 1828 was science fiction writer Jules Verne. Sure. He wrote such books as 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Around the World in 80 Days. In what had to be a disappointment, his final journey to the center of the earth stopped after just six feet. <laughs> <laughs> Pink is 43, which everybody who does paint by numbers already knows. <laughs> On a sad note, Peter Tork, the bass player for the Monkees, passed away just about a year ago. He would have been 81 this week. Mm -hmm. In his obituary, I learned something I didn't know before. In physics, Peter Torque is the amount of force a man exerts when twisting his penis. <laughs> <laughs> and coming up in next month's cavalcade, we'll celebrate the 96th birthday of singer Harry Belafonte as he turns 35,135 Days old. Days, Days old. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wraps up another edition of Tim Cavanaugh's Cavalcade of Celebrity Birthdays. Yes, Till does. next time, remember, who needs a calendar when you've got a Cavanaugh? Thank you, Tim. Thank you very much. Days old. Days old.